corner base cabinet that I've built. So if there's any professionals out there who's watching this video, please don't send me any hate mail saying that I did it wrong. Uh, I did it the way that I thought it should be done. Uh, so I just added some uh, stretchers up here in the front to secure my face frame to the front. Uh, what I still have to do with that is take the little portable Craig jig and just drill out a couple holes up here in the front to attach the face frame to. Uh, now, let me flip this around for you. Obviously, I don't have my back panels in, and the reason why I cut this back piece on a 45 the way that I did is I have to figure out what I'm doing with the inside of this cabinet. So I have a lazy Susan Baron, and I still need to put this in here and make the platform and decide what I'm doing with the inside of this cabinet still. I don't know if I want to try to make some pull-out shelves or make a fancy lazy Susan to go inside here. Uh, but I didn't want that idea or that process to hold up actually building the cabinet. So what I've done is, uh, since I put this bevel on here, I've given myself the ability to come in later and just slide the back panels in place. So once I figure out what I'm doing with the inside of this cabinet, I have the room here without the backs in to go ahead and attach everything. And as you can see that uh, inside the cabinet, by having that bell, that gives me a nice tight corner in the back. So all I would have to do in that back piece, slide it into my dados, and if I wanted to, I could put a couple micro pin nails in there to hold it in place to make it even tighter than what it is now. So that's the corner cabinet. I just have the uh, pantry cabinet to make, and then all my base cabinets, my lower cabinets, are built. Uh, so I'm moving along pretty nicely. But hey, I appreciate all the positive feedbacks. I'm glad you guys are enjoying the videos. I'm actually enjoying making them. So uh, yeah, stay tuned for the next video. You didn't think I was going to leave you like that, did you? I've been sharing all my measurements and my diagrams from my other cabinets, so why wouldn't I share this one? Now, I have a pretty big piece of cardboard that came with the plywood that I bought. So I was able to use this to make myself a scale drawing of my corner cabinet. So as you can see, that uh, I've been playing around with the idea as to where I'm going to put that Lazy Susie bearing, if I use it at all. But by doing this, I was able to determine the exact size of the piece that I needed for the bottom. Now I want my sides to be the same as all of my other base cabinets. So I know that that side of my cabinets here, they needed to be 592 millimeters uh, deep because when I add my face frame that's going to take me to my true depth cabinet of 610 millimeters and the opening that I needed in the front here needed to be 305 millimeters or 12 inches so once I had all that figured out I was able to map this out and I found out that I needed a piece that is 852 millimeters square so I cut that piece that rough piece to size and then as you saw earlier I notched out the front of that cabinet with a jigsaw. Now in the back here uh, from that back corner in I went 152 millimeters or six inches. I did that only because uh, this Craig multi uh, mark that I have it's a six inch uh, gauge or 152 millimeters so I basically just used this to determine how far in I was going to cut that back corner. No rhyme or reason, really, if you want to make it smaller, if you need to make it bigger. Uh, but the reason why I took that back corner out was when I go to slide that cabinet into place. I want to eliminate uh, the possibility of this back corner touching the back of the wall where the drywall meets. Because as a lot of you are probably aware of, but when a taper gets in there and tapes that joint, it's not going to be 90 degrees. Even if the uh, wall was not built perfectly 90 degrees with one another, by cutting that back corner out, I take that corner of the wall out of play so I can get this cabinet perfectly in line with the rest of the cabinets and I can get it against the wall that I need to get it against. Okay, now this is the end of the video. Thanks for watching.